Imagine a world where everything was always the same, never changing, never moving, boring, right? But that's not the case in our universe. The matter around us is always in a state of change, constantly transforming from solid to liquid to gas and back again. Welcome to the fascinating world of states of matter and changes in states of matter. So buckle up and get ready to explore the exciting world of states of matter and the transformations they undergo. Think of an ice cube in your drink on a hot summer day as it melts from a solid to a liquid, it's undergoing a change in its state of matter or a pot of boiling water. The water molecules go from being still and organized in a liquid state to bouncing around energetically in a gas state. Each state of matter has its own unique properties and the transitions between them can be influenced by various factors such as temperature, pressure and even light. Understanding these changes and the underlying science behind them can give us a deeper appreciation for the constantly changing world around us. Let's dive deeper into how matter changes its states. It all starts with the molecules that make up matter. These tiny building blocks are in constant motion and interact with each other and the state of matter they form depends on the strength of these interactions and the amount of energy they contain. When matter is heated or cooled, these interactions and energy levels change, causing the matter to transition from one state to another. For example, when we heat up a solid, the energy of its molecules increases, causing them to move faster and farther apart. As they spread out and break apart from their organized structure, the solid turns into a liquid. This process is called melting. And if we keep heating the liquid, its molecules will become even more energetic and spread out even further, eventually turning into a gas. This process is called vaporization or evaporation. On the other hand, when we cool down a gas, its molecules slow down and come together, forming a liquid. If we continue to cool it, the molecules will slow down even more, coming together to form a solid. This process is called condensation. Boiling and freezing are two important concepts related to the changes in states of matter. Boiling is the process of a liquid changing into a gas and it occurs when the temperature of a liquid reaches a point called the boiling point. At this temperature, the energy of the molecules in the liquid is high enough to overcome the forces holding them together and they start to escape into the air as a gas. The boiling point of a liquid depends on the pressure of the surrounding atmosphere with high pressure leading to a higher boiling point. The freezing point of a liquid also depends on pressure, with lower pressure leading to a lower freezing point. It's important to note that boiling and freezing are not just physical changes, but they also have chemical implications. For example, boiling water kills harmful bacteria, making it safe for drinking, and freezing food preserves it for later consumption. In summary, boiling and freezing are two important processes that occur as matter transitions between its states. Whether it's the steam rising from boiling water or the formation of ice on a frozen lake, these changes are testament to the dynamic and constantly changing nature of matter. And there you have it. A better understanding to the fascinating world of states of matter and changes in states of matter. I hope you enjoyed exploring the dynamic and ever-changing world of matter and the science behind it. If you are looking to learn more about science and other exciting topics, hit the bell icon on your favorite YouTube channel. This way you will never miss out on a chance to dive deeper into the wonders of our universe and expand your knowledge.